All right, we're back here, part two of scaling an alder log. We already got the length of this log in the last little video clip. And now in this video clip here, we're going to look at the diameter. We always measure logs when we're scaling them from the small end. I can look at this log easily and see that that end was connected to the stump. It's got a little bit of pole there where it was bucked off the stump here by myself here a couple days ago. And we're gonna go down to the other end to get the small end of this log and measure it up. As promised in the last video, we'll use the carpenter's tape this time to get our small end diameter. So let's grab that, head on down here and have a look at this small end of the log and get a diameter measurement. Now, when we're measuring diameter on the small end, we always measure it in two places. We can measure it across the center of the log right there inside the bark. And you can see there that that's about nine and a half inches on the inside of the bark. Then we measure it a second direction right here, again, inside the bark. And this is about 90 degrees to the other direction. And we can see here that this is about 10 and a half, somewhere right in there. So we had 10 and a half and nine and a half. We add those two together and then we divide by two. It's pretty easy to do 10 and a half and nine and a half and come out with a measurement of 20. And then dividing by two, we get our small end diameter of this log is 10 inches. Now, in the next little video clip, I'll show you how to go to the scale sheet, find a 10 inch log that's 20 feet in length, and we'll get our scale value for this log.